Welcome to the German Wolfpack Vlogs number 59 in the series. I am the wolf. What is going on, guys? I'm having some sour steel Pepsi Max. And guess what? It is around like 7.45 and the sun is out. And I nailed it by four today. I, I did a power a power walk today, and I and I needed that. I was listening. Hold on. I was listening to some heavy metal music on my MP3 player. I had uh, let's see. I had my personal favorite band. ACDC, rocking out with that, and some other tunes as well. Not much is going on right now, but what I'm going to do, I want to talk to you guys on some things. I made two videos, and I'm okay with it, but the point is, when I make a video about something serious about a hockey team, you you have to watch it though. I mean, I mean, it's up to you if you want to watch it or not. But the point where I'm making is, I said this a million times in a in a previous video. Um, I, my dream job is to work for a. I might be working for a team in the near in in the near future. Not right away though. I'm just helping out. Um because they have asked me to help out and I'm helping them out. I'm talking about the Edwin Deck Thunder. Um but the two videos that I made up, the one that I did about the Binghamton Devils, I asked you guys what song would the Binghamton Devils have would like to have for their entrance theme. Uh, there's only two songs, two songs to pick from, and that is "Running with the Devil" and "Highway to Hell." Now, what songs are most appropriate for that team? I will, um, on, and so, which I said, it's up to you guys if you want to watch it. But, it's, when I talk about hockey stuff, you need to watch it because it's, it's like, everything that I say is serious. Please understand that. Anyways, um, I want to give a major shout out to the Binghamton Devils because I mean it's a brand new team uh, that's why I want, I want to give them a shout out because number one they used to be in Albany um, as the Albany River Rats in 1993-94 and, and then in uh, in 2010, it's kind of it's kind of complicated because they wanted the Portland Pirates um to come and bring and bring hockey from Portland to Albany. That did not um do very well, so nothing happened with that. So the, the then their last good choice was the Lowell. Devils from Lowell, Massachusetts area. They decided to leave Massachusetts to to go to to go to Albany in two thousand ten. Uh, um, so so the Devils last in Albany. Let's see, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve. Think about. Six, like, six years, maybe? 
Uh, that's what I'm thinking of, but I don't know. But the, the point where I'm making is, that's why I want to give Binghamton, uh, let's put it this way, I, I want to say thank you for putting hockey back in Binghamton because I was a, a fan of the Hartford, uh, of the Hartford Whalers and their affiliate at the time, well, not their affiliate, but they moved from Hartford to Binghamton. In the in the like eighties, nineties, or something like that, and they were called the Binghamton Whalers. Then they went to, I mean, then they brought in the New York Rangers, and they had a team called the Binghamton, the Binghamton Rangers, and then the, then you have the Icemen of the of the UHL. I have seen them play against the, the Ice Hawks in the first fight. Anyways, I wanna I want to thank Binghamton for putting back hockey to Binghamton. I mean I love hockey and I love to, to talk about it. I hope you guys guys understand about this about this vlog uh, because number one excuse me um which like I said like when I first started going to see hockey games with my father the real German wolf I had I had a blast <clears throat> but one day um I got hit by a puck one time. Um, um, it. I mean, the puck did not go this way. It 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 turned. Um. So, anyways, um, uh, when I got hit, I I mean, um, and it okay, it knocked off my glasses. But at that time, um, my friends were plastic, not glass. So it got me like, like, like down to here. Um, it was like only like like black and blue. There was no bl no blood involved. Thank God, because I I'll be <clears throat> seriously hurt. But I wasn't. It was like like booze like right here. My father, the real German wolf, um, he was in section A. I'm in G with my aunt and my grandmother. Uh, he he actually ran from section A all of, all around to section G where I was, and see if I was okay. I was shaking up a little bit. But I did not keep the hockey puck. I wish I did though. Some guy in back of me caught it. Besides, because my hand, I mean, like, I, I'm watching the game face down like this. Next thing you know, some hockey player does, 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 a, does a slap shot. And then after that, it hits the goalie's pads, but it's, it's like going this way. Not this way, so it it, it it hits the goalie's pads and stick goes up at, at that time there was no netting, so and my brother was there, um the omega wolf, and he he was in, he was in shock when he saw what he saw. <clears throat> And I was, I'm shooken up. I had to put ice on it at my at my aunt's place, um, and then the swelling went down a little bit more, you know. And then after that, we watched like TV and stuff, and we had snacks. We played some games, and then I had my, my cousins over at their place, and you know, it was a, a fun time. 
But not for me though, because I I could get I could get seriously hurt with a hockey puck coming up to towards my face, but it hit me right here, and it hurt. <laughs> I didn't cry though, thank God. I was a fighter, and then somebody was trying to come in and sit down, and I told and I told that person, um. My, that Mike Tyson hit me. And everybody laughed, you know. But that was back in the past. No, I'm okay now. Um, but, you know, it was weird because the guy did us, the opposing player who the Red Wings were playing against, the, the guy did, He's a thin. The guy did a slap shot. That's what he did. <clears throat> and it, and it, well, I can't pronounce the word, but it's, uh, it ricocheted from the goalie's pants and stick, came up, no netting, and and got me the great hair. Anyways, <clears throat> if you excuse me, um. Let's see here. Come on. No, I can't. No, I can't. I'm holding my my, my iPad here, and, and I can't turn my 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 cap off so I can get something to drink. <clears throat> Anyways, I want to ask you guys another question, though. Did anyone see a movie called, let's see, Now, let's see, Now You See Me? Two, very good movie, but I never. I want to watch it tonight though, in a few minutes, or at nine o'clock. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, it's about like it says. Let's see. Well, it's about magic, and it talks about a bank, a bank heist. Let's put it that way. I saw the first one. I just see. The the sequel in a little while. Anyways, uh, this is gonna be a little longer. I'm just gonna see what you guys are up to. Um, and it's like right now it's like almost like like around like eight on eight o'clock. But the the funny thing is, I want to show you something. See right there. That's the sun is out still. That's weird though. I mean, and what do you guys think? Leave some comments below. I, I, the Alpha Beast doesn't want to talk tonight. He's too busy. But favorite, <clears throat> favorite, like and share and subscribe to the Jim and Wolf again. The the Wolf Pack vlogs is hosted by not Jay Potter, it's the German Wolf. So we need to howl at the moon. And you do not have to be afraid of the German Wolf or the Alpha Beast or. The Binghamton Devils. You don't want to be afraid of them either. Anyways. Bada boom. <clears throat> I got one for you guys. <clears throat> bada boom, bada boom. The gym and... Uh, hold on. I did, I, I did that too fast. Hold on. No, I, I, I'm not going to do that right now. I was going to do something really funny though. Anyways. Stay positive. And stay... And stay uh, and stay awesome. Oh, by the way, some guy named Isaac um, on YouTube. I want to give him a shout out too. Peace out.